this is the question. Do you believe it is appropriate for us to buy cobalt from countries that use child labor to produce it? It's a yes or no answer. It's not a yes or no for me, it Congresswoman. Yes no it's answer. not a yes or no for me, Congresswoman. Deputy Director Ned, we have heard on a number of occasions that the BLM is not issuing applications for permits to drill for leases that are involved in litigation brought on by special interest groups. This neglect to issue APDs is happening even though the courts have not issued injunctions ordering the BLM to stop issuing the APDs. In other words, the BLM is breaking the law. Deputy Director, um, in May of this year, the governor of the state of Wyoming sent a letter to Tracy Stone Manning, the director of Bureau of Land Management, addressing this specific issue. And I request unanimous consent to submit the governor's letter for the record. Without objection. Um, according to the first paragraph of this letter, the governor stated, as we briefly discussed during my visit on February 8th, it appears that in Wyoming, the BLM has completely halted approvals of oil and gas drilling permits and routine authorizations on any acreage involved in environmental lawsuits, even if not judicially ordered to do so. This unnecessary self-imposed moratorium is extremely concerning, highly unusual, and has negative cumulative impacts for state revenue and for the economic health of this state, and I would add for this country. Now, it seems to me that this policy that the BLM has adopted would incentivize every environmental group out there to file a lawsuit challenging every single oil and gas permit approval, regardless of merit, to hold up the project indefinitely. Why in the world would the BLM want to incentivize even more frivolous lawsuits against energy development in this country? Congresswoman, where I don't believe our actions is to incentivize anyone to file lawsuits. However... No, but the fact is, your actions do. And so what I want to know is why is it BLM policy to incentivize additional frivolous lawsuits against energy development in the United States? Again, that is not our policy, Congresswoman. Okay. So, Deputy Director Ned, would you commit to following the law by doing your job and issuing APDs for leases involved in litigation? I will commit to following the law by issuing Thank you APDs. Very much. Um, are you aware that the average barrel of non U.S. produced oil is produced in a country that scores significantly lower than the United States, United States based on an environmental performance index by Yale University's Institute? of energy research, were you aware of that? I am not aware of that Yale study, Congresswoman. Okay, does it surprise you? I am not aware with the study, so I cannot comment on okay. that. Okay, uh, why would this administration insist on exporting our economy and our jobs to other nations to do something that we can do better? Again, the administration approach is how to transition to a clean like energy economy. I'd like you to answer my question. Why are you exporting our economy and our jobs to countries to do things that we can do better? Congresswoman, you asked a question. I was attempting to give you an answer again. I don't think you're answering my question. You're talking about transition. You're not addressing the question of why would we export jobs to other countries to do things that we can do better. Again, as we transition to a new energy economy, we're looking at how to develop the resources, both renewable and non-renewable, Congresswoman. Okay. I am not aware um, of exporting jobs. Unreliable, I think, is a better word to use. Uh, you recently issued the Rock Springs RMP, and this, I think, is an example of things to come. And every state that has federal lands within its borders, specifically BLM lands, should recognize what now the intent of the BLM is. This Rock Springs RMP will exclude, prohibit, and bar all access management and use of vast swaths, vast swaths of federal land throughout the United States. You exclude not only oil and gas development, but livestock grazing and recreation. And is it your intent to prohibit American citizens from accessing their lands? Congresswoman, our intent is to use the land in a way that allows all Americans, both present and future generation, to enjoy and benefit from it. Why is it that every policy this administration pursues is intended to create energy poverty? I just can't agree with that premise, so I cannot answer to that. How well do third world countries do in terms of protecting the environment? 
Congresswoman, I'm not familiar with all. Well, let's use the Congo as an example. Do those mining activities in the Congo comport with our mining laws, NEPA, ESA, and that sort of thing? I am not familiar with the Congo's laws and rules. You're, you're not familiar with the fact that the vast majority of our cobalt comes from countries such as, uh, such as the Congo? You're not aware of that? Congresswoman, you asked me if I'm aware the law violating it, and I'm not familiar with the law. Are you, are, do you have any idea of whether Congo complies with child labor laws? Again, you're asking me in a are question. You, do you know whether the Congo complies with child labor laws? The answer is yes or no. I have not studied Congo, so I cannot okay. give have you an you answer. Have you seen the videos of the little children out mining in the Congo to mine for, for cobalt so that we can have what you refer to as renewables? I don't know what video you're speaking about, You haven't seen the videos. I don't know what video you're speaking okay. about, Do you think it is appropriate to buy cobalt from countries that use child labor to produce it? Again, I can speak for what the Bureau of Land no, Management I, I is. Wanna know, I want to know the position. This is the question. Do you believe it is appropriate for us to buy cobalt from countries that use child labor to produce it? It's a yes or no answer. It's not a yes or no for me, it Congresswoman. Yes no it's answer. not a yes or no for me, Congresswoman. I'm an official of the Bureau of Land Management, and I can speak to the Bureau of Land Management. I am not an expert on Congo, nor am I an expert on child labor or labor laws. Is it the BLM's policy to buy cobalt from countries that use child labor to produce it? The BLM does not procure cobalt. But the companies that you're advocating for do. I yield back. 